Real Agriculture Outcomes coverage of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show 2012 is brought to you by Pride Seeds, High Stick NT, and SoybeanSchool.com. Good morning and welcome to Canada's Outdoor Farm Show and our exhibit of the De Laval VMS and Herd Navigator at, uh, at the exhibition. Uh, we're excited that uh, this year the Canada's Outdoor Farm Show represents the, the launch of Herd Navigator officially in Canada. Um, at De Laval we're com wholly committed to uh, making sustainable food production possible and with that for us we look to our new solutions and technologies that we're bringing to market to touch what we call four pillars. And those would be animal welfare, social responsibility, farm profitability of, of, of course, and the environment. And certainly we believe that uh, solutions such as Herd Navigator touch each of those four pillars. Um, Herd Navigator is a very novel solution. And we see in agriculture, not unlike other industry sectors, uh, a very fast and active embrace of new technologies. At De Laval, we've often talked about um, managing our dairy herds by exception and doing more with less. And ultimately, whether it be in a conventional milking system such as a parlor or in a robotic milking solution like our VMS, our voluntary milking system, we want to spend as little time as possible milking a cow. But during that time, we want to leverage and capture as much information as we can, doing more with less. Herd Navigator is one such opportunity. We utilize some components such as the analyzer, the sampler, some hardware if you will that actually uh, configures the system and integrates with the milking solution. And Herd Navigator is essentially an on-farm real-time laboratory and analysis system if you will. Inside Herd Navigator we have what's called a biomodal and that biomodal was based on data collected over years and years from hundreds perhaps millions of milkings of cows and correlating that component within milk to an actual reproductive state or physiologic state of the cow and all of that data was put into what we're calling the biomodal so herd navigator is sampling milk for various components and assigning a time based on that cow's actual status of when it should sample for what, okay, throughout that cow's lactation. Within the milk, we're looking at four principal components. Of course, before we even have Herd Navigator, we're looking at milk yields, we're looking at conductivity, we're looking at the color of the color or, or blood level in, in milk potentially. And then Herd Navigator takes that to a higher level. Now with Herd Navigator, we're looking at progesterone. Well, why progesterone? Well, progesterone is the, the gold standard in monitoring the reproductive status of a, of a cow. And with these advanced technologies, because of our leading role in the industry, as well as the demands of the farmer, we, we have the expectation that data must be accurate if we're going to take that to a higher level and truly do more with less. So with progesterone, we're able to determine at a very high sensitivity and specificity whether that cow is in heat, whether she's pregnant, whether she has a luteal or follicular cyst, whether she's aborted, okay? We're also measuring an enzyme called lactate dehydrogenase. And this enzyme reports to the, the utter health of the cow, of her mammary system. Over time, as an industry, we've looked to somatic cell count, the level of white blood cells or leukocytes that a cow might shed to fight infection or a trauma to the udder. LDH, lactate dehydrogenase, is in fact an enzyme that helps us present an even earlier, early warning to the farmer because that cow is, is that enzyme is secreted at the first communication or touch of a, a mastitic causing pathogen, okay? Um, we're also looking at, at 
DHB, beta-hydroxybutyrate. Why that? Well, for ketosis, a disease in cows. We also look at, at urea, of course. Why urea? Well, protein is a very costly component of, of feed and we want to manage it in the best way that we can, doing more with less. And so if we can monitor that urea level, we can also then fine tune the rations for the cows. We can ensure that we're more efficient, better for the cow, and more socially responsible because we can better manage the nutrients that we're applying to the fields. Um, so that's a, an overview of, of Herd Navigator. Uh, in the installations that we have currently in Canada and throughout the rest of the world, certainly it's, it's proving out um, insofar as the pregnancy rates of cows, insofar as the earlier detection of diseases such as ketosis and, and uh, utter health. Um, so it's something that we're, we're very proud of. We're also proud of the fact that, uh, you know, with these technologies, we believe that it's our, our responsibility to ensure that there's future proofing or upgradability that we bring with these solutions. So uh, with our VMS, our voluntary milking system, or with our conventional milking parlors, installations that were installed perhaps five, ten years ago can be brought up to a level to incorporate these new solutions. You know, we think that's simply the responsible thing to do. Can it tell you how to get her only pregnant with heifers? Oh, great question. Um, <laughs> With Herd Navigator, because we're able to so acutely follow the reproductive state or the physiology, actually see inside the cow, if you will, um, it allows an opportunity for our customers to explore embracing other technologies on the genetic side, um, perhaps such as sex semen. So if we can um, better define uh, whether the cow is actually in heat, um, and the likelihood of a successful insemination, then perhaps that serves as a tool for a farmer to better manage his uh, genetics that are, or her, that they're using on, on farm with the, with the cows. Absolutely.